Hi kids, today I'm going to show you how to play Multiplication Wrestling. So, uh, the first thing that I want to tell you is you're going to play against somebody and whoever has the highest score wins. Now there are lots of different possibilities when you draw your cards, but keep in mind the highest score wins. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my name first, and this will be my recording sheet. You'll notice there's round one, round two, and then round three. So we can actually play three times on the front side of the sheet. And then on uh, the person I'm playing against, we'll just give that person the name of Example. Pretty good name. Pretty creative, I know. I know. So, here is my sheet. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to draw four cards numbered 1 through 9. 1 through 9. So I've already sorted those out. 1 through 9 will be on top. You'll need to do the same. So I've drawn a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 7. So I have 3, 4, 5, and 7. So the first step I need to do is simply go to the word it says cards, and I'm going to write... 7, 5, 4, and 3. Now, again, remembering that the highest score wins, I need to figure out how I'm going to partner these cards up. Now, I'll just show you some examples. I could do 75 and 43. I could do 75 and 34. Well, I know since I'm multiplying, I want the biggest numbers possible. So 34 is probably not a very good choice. Let's stick with 43. Or maybe I could go 73 and 54. Lots of different choices that you could do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with 73 times 54. Let's get that set up. Now, even though these are my cards, I'm going to pretend like these are two different teams. So that on the next line it says numbers formed. What I'm going to do in one color is I'm going to write down 73. And then the other team I'll write in red. 54. Now, if you think about these numbers and their value, that 7 isn't really a 7 since it's in the tens place. It's worth 70. So it's like saying 70 plus 3 for the blue team. And again, on the reds team, that 5 is in the tens place, so it's worth 50. And 50 plus 4 is going to give us 54. Now, the next very important thing that you need to remember is since 70 and 3 are on the same team, they don't wrestle each other. They're going to go against each of the red teams. I'll show you what I mean here. So first, 70, right here, 70 is going to wrestle 50. And then 70 is also going to wrestle, it's already wrestled 50, it's going to wrestle 4. Notice 70 is not going to wrestle 3. They're on the same team, same color. So 70's had a chance to wrestle both of these people, so now the 3 is going to wrestle the 50. And so the three's wrestled the 50, the three's not going to wrestle its own teammate, so the only one left is the 3 and the 4. So now they are going to wrestle 3 times 4. Okay, so you notice that 70 is wrestled each person on the red team, and the 3 is wrestled each person on, on the red team as well. So I'll put my cards away, and now I'll just get down to some math. So I'm going to write this in black just because it's easier for me to understand. So again, I see two zeros, so I'm going to put it in the 1s and 10s place. And 7 times 5 is 35. Next one, 70 times 4. I notice there's one zero, so I'm going to put that in the ones place. 7 times 4 is 28, so the answer is 280. The next product is going to be 3 times 50, so I see a zero here in the ones place. We'll put a zero. 3 times 5 is 15. Last one, 3 times 4 is 12, and I now have my products. Another thing I want you to notice, and this will just help you along the line, along the way, is you notice my ones places lined up, and my tens places lined up, and hundreds and thousands if you have them. Okay, so they're all lined up. It makes it really easy. And here it says total. Add the four products. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 
0 plus 8 plus 5 plus 1, well 5 plus 1 is 6, and 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry my 1. So 5 plus 1 is 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then our 3 comes straight down because there's nothing else to add. Now my product is 3,942. Now what's that mean? I don't know. We have to figure out if my opponent had a higher score or not, since that's the main point of the game. So what I'm going to do here, and just to kind of show you that there is a difference, and it does matter what you do with these four cards. I'll give you guys that example there. I'll just set it off to the side. Now here is my, my partner. So let's, let's pretend we have the same cards again. So I'll write those in black. Seven, five, three, and four. Now... We'll make some different numbers. You're going to notice here for my sheet I made 73. Let's try 75 for that person. And since they use the 75, we have the 4 and the 3 left, so I'm going to make the 40 and the 3. All right, let's go through this again. 7 is in the 10s place, so it is a 70. 5 is in the 1s place, so it's a 5. The 43, the 4 is in the tens place, so it's a 40. 3 is in the ones place, so that's worth 3. Now remember, 70 and 5 aren't going to wrestle each other. They're on the same team. You wouldn't want to do that. So while well, 70 is going to wrestle, let's have 40 first. And then 70 is also going to wrestle 3. Okay, 70 has had a chance to wrestle both people on the other team. So we're going to have the 5 is going to wrestle the 40. And the 5 is going to wrestle the 3. Remembering that the blue team never wrestles each other and the red team never wrestles each other. And that's why I like this because you see you have blue on one side and red on the other. So now we just have to multiply these so we can do that. Again I notice two zeros so we'll put it in, in the ones in the tens place. 7 times 4 is 2,800 after you put the 28. 70 times 3, again there's 1 zero, so we'll put that in the ones place. 7 times 3 is 21 for a product of 210. We have 5 times 40, so again another zero in the ones place. 5 times 4 is 20, so we'll write those down. Last one is 5 times 3, which I know is 15. And again, as you remember, lined up ones place, tens, hundreds, and thousands again if you have them. So we add these up, we have 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 2 more is 12, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, so my product for that is 3,225. Now you're going to notice that even though I used two, the same cards, we get different products. And since I had the higher number, my my answer would win. So what I'd do is just kind of keep track. I'd put a W over here, and then I'd maybe put an L over there. The other thing that I need you guys to remember is that I wanted to show you how to play, and I wanted to show you how it does matter if you have the same cards. If you draw the same cards, you might get a different answer. However, if I was playing this um, and as you will play this against one of uh, your classmates, you will draw four cards, and then your partner will draw four different cards. Okay, so this was just an example. You'll actually want to draw four different cards for each person for each round. All right, good luck.